There are just so many different decorating styles around. Sometimes choosing what to go with can be tricky. Boho look is popular right now, but what is it and how can you pull a look together at your place? Personally, I love the boho style. I think it fits so well to the way we live here in Australia. It's casual, it's relaxed, and relatively easy to achieve for young and for old. And you too can have it at your place no matter where you live. Take this place for example. It's obviously a forgotten corner of the house. Not bad, it kind of has the basic elements. It's got a couple of chairs. It obviously is a reading nook, but it doesn't look very welcoming. So I'm gonna take those elements and the wall color and work that into a boho scheme. And I know just the place to start. My jumping off point for the room is that black wall, such a strong dominant element, so I really want to work with that. I think touches of white and natural will really warm that whole look. So things that are really boho, chunky knits and fringing, think back to the 70s, they were very big on the boho look, but these days it's more exaggerated, so this perfectly defines the style. It's also really comfy as well. So I want to work with things like that and also baskets. Timber is really good, but go for slightly blonder looks, nothing too dark. You don't want to close in the space with all of that black. So timber, I think something like this would be perfect. It's all about layering, as you can see. Also working with a really cohesive colour scheme just helps to link it all together. With any decorating project, it's always good to just assess first what you need and what you don't. That way you can kind of start with a blank slate. The rest of these pieces I think I'll keep. I'm just going to stack them to one side so I can start building from the ground up. The natural fibres of these rugs just anchors our boho look perfectly. And don't be afraid to layer things up by getting one of these, a beautiful cowhide. You can find them quite cheaply these days. You can lay it down over the top and look at the great colour it creates. We can't do much about the ugly window, but what we can do is disguise it. And as far as window treatments go, they don't come much cheaper than the good old matchstick blind. Look at this beautiful warm black colour straight off the shelf. And what's good about this, it echoes the colour from the wall to the rug to the window. Looks so much better already, but to soften the look, we can go over the top with these fantastic room dividers. How good are they? We found them from the hardware store and just attached two of them to an ordinary curtain pole. And look at that at the window. Great texture, which is exactly what we're after. Looks like that cushion I found in the shop. I love it. Not everything in a room has to be brand new. You know, sometimes found objects or souvenirs add the most character. You probably remember the old milk crate bookshelves. Well, here's a nicer take on that. Some lovely little Besser blocks with great colour and texture and also some recycled timber. It's still got all of its crags and all of this lovely, lovely character. Just adds that warmth that we need in the room. I'm sure Hodgie won't miss these. The old cane looks brilliant in this setting, but you know, the old fabric, not quite so good. Sometimes you might be lucky and you might have a better fabric on the back, which we do here, but for the seat, we need a cover up. So the magic thing to do is to use a throw, or in this case, a nice soft woolen rug. On with the cushion. Oh, look at that. Beautifully inviting. Looks brand new. love indoor plants. They always add colour and freshness to a space and I try and use them wherever I can. If you don't like the ugly plastic pots, well, hide them away in a basket. Much better. Remember the drab old footstool? Well, it doesn't really fit in with our new boho look. So look what you can actually do. The little bits and pieces that you might have lying around in your craft cupboard. Just some braid, hot glued around has made all the difference, along with some string just tied around the legs. You can do this with cushions, with footstools. It just takes something that's pretty drab and makes it very fat. Don't give up your day job, huh? Well, it's certainly not a minimalist look. In this case, I would say more is definitely more. And it's just something that you could keep adding to. I think what makes this space so welcoming is all of the texture and detail. It just invites you in and makes you want to sit, relax and read a book. Mm -hmm.